I'm Ryan Rastock with the Kansas Forest Service. I'm the Forest Health Coordinator for the Kansas Forest Service. And today we're going to be talking about this tree here, the Kentucky Coffee Tree, Gymnocletus dioecus. It's a very interesting tree native to the kind of the eastern half or third of the state. It's really interesting in that it has one of the largest leaves of any tree in the state. So it's a bipinnately compound leaf. Uh, they can be up to four feet in length. Uh, you can see here, this is the entire leaf breaks off into another set of a compound leaflet and then you have the smaller leaflets here so that would be the entire leaf um, it is in the bean family family so it's a legume and so around october you're going to see these conspicuous bean pods that are kind of blackish in color uh, and we'll show some images of that in a bit and uh, with that some of the uses had been speculated that perhaps some of the settlers in the past had used it as a coffee substitute I can't verify or refute that or attest to the quality, so we're certainly not encouraging you to do that. But, um, and with that too, the, uh, the bark, so typically in a wooded situation, these can grow in those low light conditions and grow kind of really straight and slender. And the bark is kind of a grayish color when they're more mature in this really large tree here with these conspicuous furrows. Now, oftentimes it'll almost kind of have an exfoliating type of bark where it almost peels back a little bit and hopefully we'll be able to see that in a bit. Um, its growth habit, it grows pretty well in urban areas. And then also in the forested lands in Kansas, you're gonna see it typically associated with areas where black walnut will grow pretty well. And so that is the Kentucky coffee tree, Gymnocletus dioecus. <laughs> then another consideration with Kentucky coffee trees, they tend to be prolific root sprouters. So behind me here, we have a pretty conspicuous uh, clustering of sprouts that are originating from the roots. They can actually start to sprout out throughout the whole root system. Uh, and so a lot of people will wonder, you know, what to do about it in an urban setting in your front lawn if it's starting to sprout a lot. You certainly don't want to apply herbicide if you want to keep that tree alive as it's connected to that root system. Uh, and if you're in a forested setting or something like that and want to encourage that to kind of get a grove of uh, Kentucky coffee to establish and you can just, just let it go, maybe selectively thin them out if you like. So 